good day uh today i want to show you how i find the value of x in this question so the first thing to do is by uh having x squared divided by uh but x squared is common here so we take it out and it will mean one here plus x raised to power two uh plus x raised to power of four everything equals to one and this x square and x square can simply delete each other and uh, we have one remain all over one plus x square plus x raised to the power of four equals one at this stage i will cross multiply and by doing that we have this result to be one equals one plus x square plus x raised to the power of four so there is one at these two sides, so I uh, will cancel this. Uh, it remains uh, zero here equals x raised to power two plus x raised to power of four. So here uh, I can simply write this thing as x squared plus x raised to power four equals zero. Just taking this thing to the left hand side, and I will factorize x square out. So and by doing this, we have one plus x square left equals zero, and uh, uh, I let x square equals to zero or one plus x square equals to zero all right and here we have x one equals to zero and uh, x two equals to zero and uh, for the second one we have uh, one x square plus one equals to zero and we have x square equals to negative one so we take the square of both sides, the square root of both sides, and we have x equals to plus or minus square root of negative one. And obviously, this is uh, a complex root. Uh, if this is a complex root, and uh, if you have uh, the root of, let's say you have the root of minus one is i, all right? So uh, anywhere, anywhere you see this, square root of minus one is i. And uh, by using it here, we have x equals to plus or minus i. And uh, uh, I've obtained x1 and x2 before, so which means the x3 is i, which is positive, or x4, which is uh, i, which is negative. And here are the four positive roots of these equations. So now let's verify. So to verify this, at x equals to zero and clearly this is undefined because we are going to have zero at the top and the bottom and it which is undefined and uh, let's test for at x equals to i so we surely this will work and we have i squared divided by i raised to the power of two uh, plus i raised to the power of four plus i raised to the power of six but note that the i square is a uh, negative one okay and by applying it here we have negative one divided by negative one plus so this one can also be written as i square or square plus i raised to power two or raised to power th or raised to power three sorry and uh, here we have negative one plus and uh, here is at negative one so an f here is raised to power of uh raised to power of three and you have negative one divided by negative one plus one uh, minus one so if this cancel we have negative one divided by one negative one that is one so which means at i equals to uh, x equals to i it satisfies the equation so similarly you can still uh check for at i equals to uh at x equals to negative one rather so if x equals to negative i so this will also work for uh when you check it and thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next